Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 30th to June 5th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Pisces, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I also wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Let's take a look. First card we have for you, Pisces, is the Queen of Wands in reverse. We also have Two of Cups in reverse. We also have the Three of Cups, the Sun card, the Hierophant card, and the two of wands in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, this is the queen of pentacles in reverse. With the nine of swords, I'm sorry, not nine of swords, with the two of swords and the nine of cups. Hmm. Okay. Justice card is in reverse at the bottom. Three of Wands and the Strength card. Well, I definitely feel like you're trying to keep it together. I don't feel like um, things are easy for you this week in regards to like the energies um, within you and around you. I feel like there's a little bit of... Uh, uh, like a heavy energy, a diff some sort of difficulty here that you're s like swimming through. I want to say swimming through, pushing through, or like fighting through. Yeah, some some sort of energy here of. Um, you feeling unhappy or displeased displeased disappointed also actually but look at this powerful energy here with the strength card and the sun card you're definitely not letting yourself be um defeated you're not letting yourself be defeated by external energies around you because i do feel like it's something external that's not feeling very congru it's not feeling congruent with your energy it's kind of this destabilizing you or trying to dis destabilize you but you're fighting back Ace of Wands in reverse. I mean, we do have Two of Cups here um, in reverse, so there is a relationship here that's not up to par. It's not what you feel you deserve, right? Because we do have the Hierophant here. 
the Hierophant is all about um, knowing your worth, knowing your your value, sticking to what you know is is your truth, sticking to what is authentic to you, what is um, honest with you, or dignified, right? Hierophant is kind of like uh, authentic and something authentic, something dignified, something um, something truthful. Again, I feel like there's this uh, really powerful energy here that you're exerting, almost like you're you're not letting yourself be defeated. You're fighting. You're fighting whatever energies surround you that are trying to kind of um, influence you in a negative way. I don't know how much this relationship has to do with things because I feel like it's very small energy here. So for some of you, it's not just related to love, it's other things as well, you know? Because I feel like the, the portion that has to do with love is very small. So I feel like there's other, other things apart from love matters that might be um, disturbing you or like distressing you. Especially because the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, but you're definitely, um, like I said, you're you're handling it. You know, you're handling it. You're managing it as best as you can. Whatever this is, it's definitely temporary, and you know it's temporary. That's why you're hanging on here. That's why you're you're keeping strong because you know it's temporary. You know, it's just it's just this week. That's all. You know. It's just the energy of this week. It's not, it's not something that's going to st stick by you, like stick through. I think love, this love situation doesn't help you though. It, make, it might make things worse here because it's definitely um, broken. There's some sort of broken relationship here or unstable relationship. I think you're trying not to think about it too much, but it's definitely, you know, in the back of your mind. And it definitely adds to your anxiety, I suppose, so to speak. It adds to your... It adds to your plate, which is already full. Um, let's clarify, let's see if we can get any extra details here. Tell me about the strength card, Spirit. We have Nine of Swords in reverse, and we have the Star upright. Oh, how cool. Yeah, you know, the Nine of Swords is the card of worrying. When you're very worried, when you're very stressed out, that's the Nine of Swords. But then we have the Star upright, so it's like you said. I mean, like I said, not like you said, like I said, it's just temporary. You know that whatever you're going through is just temporary. Um, the star gives you the, you know, it's like that light at the end of the tunnel. It gives you that light, that illumination to see, to see the light at the end of the tunnel, to see that there's a, there's a better there's better days coming what's this sorry about the noise outside tell me about the sun spirit we have knight of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles oh look at that clarifying the sun you're very empowered here knight of pentacles king of pentacles you're very empowered um if there's something going on with you know, the material things in your life with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, 
you're definitely going to come out on top. If it's related to work, to career, to your house, to something material in your life. Um, yeah, you're taking charge here. You're, you're facing things, like you're confronting things. And you're, you know, you're dominating them instead of letting them dominate you. I keep repeating that. I feel like that's the theme here. Yeah, you're going to excel in your in your finances, in your work, in your career. You're going to excel. There's a really like uh like there's a there's a really strong spirit that you have this week. It's very it's really actually very nice to look at. It's very um ad admirable, I want to say. Um the way that you're confronting these issues, these difficulties in your life, it looks it looks really um inspirational actually inspirational motivational cuz there's a lot that's on your plate but you're definitely um being the boss you know of of your own life and taking charge taking responsibility there's a love situation here that's not going well but it's in the back of your mind, but again, you're handling it just like you're handling every every other thing in your life, you know? <laughs> and I feel like you're you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on 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 staying strong and on staying empowered. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at your person now and see what their energy is like. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person that Pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's take a look. First card we have in regards to your person. We have the lovers. Could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. We also have the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles upright. The Six of Wands in reverse. We also have the Hangman. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with, another Pisces. Seven of Wands in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, those are my neighbors, by the way. There's some kids um, playing in the pool. King of Pentacles, Judgment in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Well, they're definitely um, depriving themselves of, of you because I feel like they're very interested in you. They have a lot of, um, there's a lot of attraction here, a lot of chemistry, attraction, um, strong connection here that they feel with you, passion. But 
that they're definitely holding back here from it feels like ego though it does feel like ego it feels like their um their ego doesn't really let them um you know be upfront with you or be be honest with you but this is definitely someone who wants you with the lover's card they feel desire for you they might be really focused on their work or their career with the Eight of Pentacles here. It does look like they're using their work or career as an excuse, though. Um, Pisces, I do feel like they're they're using that to justify them to to justify the fact that they're not speaking to you or. Um, being honest with you, being or taking action towards you. They're wasting time here with the hangman. So you're dealing, you're dealing with a little bit of a time waster. Seven of Wands in reverse. Why is the, what's the hangman doing here, spirit? Let me just clarify that. Oh, look, we have the magician here. Magician and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. So this person is scared. You know, this this person is scared of having a good thing. That's what's going on with them. I feel like this is someone who they're they're more comfortable when they're suffering basically that's why i said i feel like they're depriving themselves of you on purpose because it's, it's like they're more comfortable when they're when they're upset when they're angry when they're suffering where when they have something that they can you know blame things on you know when they have a reason to to be upset you know they like having a reason to be to have to be upset or to be unhappy. It's like their comfort zone. So whenever a good thing comes along, it's like it's their natural reaction to to push it away and to kind of self-sabotage, you know? Because I can feel this person's, uh, there's a lot of red combined with green which is kind of, it's a bad combination, you know. Um, earth and fire don't really mix well. That's what this person has. They have a lot of earth and fire. And that's that's not a, a good recipe. That's a recipe for disaster. It causes a lot of frustration um, inside of the, within that person. But it's like they they perpetuate that frustration, you know. They feed it, they nurture it, they they keep it going. They don't do anything to really help themselves, because, like I said, it's it that would be out of their comfort zone. Their comfort zone is to be in this energy of frustration. It's what they're used to. So they're looking at you like like you're someone they want. They, you're someone that they can see having a good opportunity. To, to be in a good relationship with. They see you as a good thing, as a good, you know, as a good person. But like I said, they just have this self-defense mechanism and they naturally just um, repel whatever seems too good to be true. And they naturally sa self-sabotage. I can see that they want to, if there was, there was a separation with the Eight of Cups in reverse, they want to reconnect with you. Yeah, they want to reconnect with you and they want a second chance with you. But like I said, right now they're in an energy of just kind of uh, putting up every, every excuse to to stall, right? Because the hangman is here, which is kind of like stalling, um, you know, dragging things out, procrastinating, wait, wasting time. Um, because they're not ready. It's like 
they're not ready, so they need to like stall things until they feel more confident. Because they do really want they do really want you. We have the lovers here, so there's a there's a powerful connection here that they feel with you. So they want you, but they just they're just very insecure and they need to like they need more time to to gain that level of confidence that they need to actually reach out to you or give this a chance, give it a try, whatever it is. Right now, it seems like they're just kind of being in hermit mode here, keeping themselves in hermit mode. <clears throat> All right. All right, Pisces, I'm going to continue in the extended reading. Oh, look at the fool here. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. And I'm going to see what exactly are their real feelings for you. What are their real intentions with you? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.